as the British say. Pinkies up. We're Matt and Carla, a Canadian couple with two totally different backgrounds, sharing our experience and advice about traveling in Canada. After almost a decade of world travel, we decided to focus on our home country of Canada and see how deep we could go. This started with a 150-day road trip from coast to coast to coast, showcasing some of the best things to do in each province and territory. We thought we'd see it all on that road trip, but we barely scratched the surface. So follow along as we continue to explore the second largest country on Earth. We're back in one of our favorite places in the whole world, Banff, Alberta. But this trip is extra special because we actually got invited to spend a couple of nights at the Fairmont Banff Springs, which is otherwise known as the Banff Castle. This is one of the most iconic hotels in the whole country. It's truly beautiful and we just found out it was recently renovated and I must say they gave us the junior suite and it is awesome. When I told my mom that I was going to stay in the castle in Bam, she was super jealous. And I guess this is one of those hotels that a lot of people dream or would like to stay here one day. If you've been watching us for a while, you probably know how much I like my cocktail. So I'm pretty excited for this class because Eric's going to be showing us how to make the three iconic cocktails from the three properties here in Banff, Lake Louise and Jasper. You don't look like a, like a bartender. No? They always look like with a rhythm or something. Oh, well, it's a good when you say <laughs> Well, you can definitely feel it's yeah, cold, right? Like that, they do it like this. <laughs> <laughs> and then they do it on the other side. This side? Yeah, sure, sure. It's a little more awkward for me. Everyone's got different techniques, but when you're making a lot of drinks, if you're just doing the one motion, you really burn out your muscles. Like, I don't know if you go rock climbing, but you kind of get pumped out. So right. I often go like down, up, down. I see, because it's like a rhythm, almost yeah. like if you're but dancing. Keep in mind, I do this every night. <laughs> <laughs> so our first drink is called the Emerald Glow. This is the iconic drink of the Fairmont uh, in Jasper. So it's meant to be a more relaxing, just kind of symbolize the relaxing atmosphere there. And it's vodka based. Mm. You'll like this one, Carla. Yeah, that's true, baby. I like it and it's very refreshing. I would love to have this drink on a hot summer day. Our next drink is the Wildflower. This is actually the drink of the Fairmont Banff Springs and it's meant to resemble, it's basically a modern twist on a Negroni which represents the old and the new, which is what this hotel is like and the beauty of the drink is meant to leave an impression just like the hotel does. You'll like this one too, Carla. But yeah, it's good. Let's see your moves. <laughs> I have the Latino moves. <laughs> Eric said that I did a wonderful job and that means that I did it better than Matthew. That's not true. It is true. <laughs> he didn't say that you had a beautiful condensation like Matthew. The last drink of the night is the Iconic Peak and this is a whiskey based drink so I'm really looking forward to it because that's my type of alcohol. Uh, this one actually has bourbon in it and I didn't realize so this is the drink of the Fairmont Lake Louise or Fairmont Chateau Lake Louise and I didn't realize that they had a big extensive collection of whiskey there and they even do whiskey tasting so sounds like that's going to be my next place to go. 
Yeah, this one's definitely my favorite. So if you like cocktails as much as me, this is definitely a, a cool little class to take while you're staying at the Fairmont, because not only do you get to learn how the drinks are made and get to make them and drink them, but you get to take home a bottle of your favorite pre-mixed drink. So I'm gonna be taking home the iconic peak. I'm gonna pick the Emerald Glow. I really like this drink. This is my favorite. British say pinkies up because we're back at the Rundle bar but this time instead of making our share of cocktails we're gonna be having their classic afternoon tea this is actually my first time having afternoon tea I've noticed that there's quite a bit of sweet options but they do have some savory ones as well I'm gonna actually have the smoked salmon right now but another really unique thing I've never seen before is the perfect tea timer. So you turn this over, the green one's three minutes, the white one's four minutes, and the brown one's five minutes. So it just depends if you like your tea light, medium, or strong. <laughs> Do I look sophisticated, baby? I don't know about that. But <laughs> I'm just kidding. You kind of look like you're going to Harry Potter school. She's making fun of my outfit. Well, after all that food, we wanted to come for at least a little walk before our yes. next appointment. And one of the nice things about this hotel is Bow Falls, which is a really beautiful place to visit, is right behind it. So we were told it's just about a five minute walk which is probably not quite enough to digest all that food, but <laughs> it'll help. Yeah. Well, as you can see, we've exchanged the winter parka for a house coat because now it's come time to what I've been looking forward to the most, a massage. But what I love is the slippers on you. <laughs> They're a little bit too small for you. They're very small. I really had to stretch them. I thought I was going to break them, but I think they're on there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> One thing's for sure, they're not coming off. <laughs> How was it? It was amazing. I feel revitalized and my massage therapist was Majo and she was fantastic. Yeah, mine was Carmen, she was also amazing. And then afterwards we actually spent an hour in the private pools, which is like hot, cold, warm, sauna. A uh, steam room. Yeah, I could probably spend the rest of the night there, but we gotta go because it's time for dinner. For our last night here at the Fairmont, we actually are having the ultimate romantic experience by enjoying their new 360 degree dome. So they actually do breakfast, brunch, uh, dinner, and a late night activity here. So we're having the seven course dinner. So I just wanna do a toast to staying two nights in a really beautiful hotel in one of the most beautiful places in the entire world. Oh, you look so good, baby. Is it the light? Is it the wine? What is it? Could be the champagne. <laughs> so far, the options for food are super interesting. I've never tried these things before. Good. I was actually looking forward to this dish because I love pork belly. I never thought I would have liked it, but I do. <laughs> And this one has some cocoa nibs and maple brown butter. Mm. Another nice thing about having dinner here is they have an extensive cocktail menu and they'll help you pair it with the different 
food. So after talking to him, I decided to have a curious sour. I love sours. I've never heard of one with tequila. And they actually make this tequila by sous vide it, if I'm saying that right. But they put tequila and they sous vide it, some cocoa powder, some honey water, and it's really refreshing. My God, the dinner is amazing. Oh, everything is so good. This looks so awesome. I like the smell though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I inhale it all. <laughs> that was so, uh... <laughs> so no fancy. I know. It's good though. So in case you're wanting to have this fancy drink here, it's called the Saskatoon Manhattan. It's a bourbon-based drink. It even has the IPA reduction and wild berry smoke, which is what you saw. Well, you know it's an extra fancy meal when you have an intermission, a palate cleanser, or a palate cleanser with a sorbet with a sparkling wine. We've now made it to the main course, which is a lamb shake with honey roasted carrots, palm puree, and red fox mushrooms. It's definitely the biggest course of the evening. First bite. The meat just dissolves in your mouth. That's how tender it is. <laughs> I never imagined I would have gold for dessert. But this can happen at the Fairmont. Ready for bed now? I don't think I can go to bed. I'm still so full. <laughs> but yeah, I'm getting tired. With the massage, all that food. Mm. It's been a good day. Our breakfast is coming up soon. <laughs> I know. So when you come to the Fairmont, be, pre be prepared to gain a few pounds because there's a lot of good drinks and food here that you shouldn't miss. Wait, before we go to bed, we just wanted to show you that we got this as a gift, which is the Rondel Bar Gin, which is actually manufactured here in Canmore. Uh, well, nearby here in Canmore. And it's such a cool gin because it has this purple tint. Well, that's it for this video. We hope you enjoyed this tour of the Fairmont Banff Springs. We certainly enjoyed our time here. Yeah, staying here is an experience in itself. Like the restaurants are amazing. All the food and drinks are just spectacular. The spa. <laughs> yeah, pretty nice too. That was too. our first time in the spa actually. It was really nice and the massage was really needed. Yes. Just, yeah, really incredible massage actually. Yeah. But, anyways, it's uh, it's not very often a hotel is actually an attraction, but I always tell people when they visit Banff, even if you don't stay here, you should definitely come visit the hotel, take the historical walking tour, walk around the grounds, and maybe sit down for a drink. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, hit that subscribe button, and for more travel guides across Canada, visit our website at mustdocanada.com. There it is. This is the story of the ghost bride. And what happened was basically in the 1920s, this woman was getting married here at the hotel. And as she was walking down the stairs, for some reason she tripped. People say maybe her heel and her dress got together and she fell and she died right here, right before she even got to have her dance with her husband. So now people say that sometimes at night, they see a veiled woman walking up and down the staircase or sometimes even dancing alone in the Cascade Ballroom.